Graham Chicho, sure, you say that uh, the work is built on mathematics. What does that continue to look like? Are we still looking to make math modules 100% Graham, 100%? What is becoming increasingly difficult for me is I can only affect the 100 kids in my classroom, so I need to increase my reach. Does the work include spreading uh, your reach? And what, Graham, uh, my my like where you are right now is where i was back in the mid 2000s early 2000s mid 2000s the shit storm had already happened right with afghanistan iraq with with the patriot act and going down the draconian road right and i was I had a lot of students at that time and it was affecting a lot of people i wasn't teaching in a centralized institution so you're affecting more kids per year than I was, right? But I was very focused on that, right? Uh, making sure 99% of my students were better off seeing me uh, after we had worked together than before. And that was my privilege, right? Because I wasn't bombarded with having a large classroom and stuff like this. But as much as I was helping as many people as I could, like really, when you're an educator, you see the effects you've had on people's lives and all of a sudden they're not going to be a victim of the centralized state they're going to be free thinking human beings man that's juice right but i was at a state where i knew i wasn't affecting as many people as i could hence i started writing online and, and then started creating videos and some of that was due to some of my students saying chicho you need to be online you need to be producing content online you need to be educating more people. You need to be helping out more people. So my students were really giving me a push to go online as well. So for sure, Graham, you need to start creating the content and don't worry too much about focusing on what you believe needs to be made at this time, right? Your vision of where you want to go. Have that as a long you know extend it have that in your calculus right have that as a long-term goal but how you get there should be more fluid right like my extended goal is to create modules enough modules to teach all of high school mathematics right i've created a lot of content on there and as far as my vision was going i was assuming by now i would have had all those modules out right but i don't right if i have enough videos to create maybe 50 percent of the modules i need i need to do the writing and stuff like this but by creating content and people sending in requests for me to do this to do this to do this to do this right i've increased my repertoire and by doing that of if you want to think about it my web has become larger and i'm affecting more people than possibly i would have if i stayed narrowly focused on my initial vision of the math modules i want to create I, I can't guarantee you that is the case but i am extremely happy as where to i where i am and my vision still hasn't changed the modules will be coming so my learn long-term calculus my long-term plan is still in motion it's just not going at the speed that i first envisioned it and we talked about this during the education stream where our time uh we had we need to free ourselves free ourselves from the restrictions of the indoctrination of having to do things at a certain time period create share let it grow organically take the advice of people that are consuming your content right and focus on creating content that suits them because they're already interested in your content and if they 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 request something and if they want to start a dialogue on something then for sure as an educator you know when a student when you got an engagement happening with a student that is the best thing you could do irrelevant if they're talking about uh, if they're talking about what you're teaching them right that's one of the reasons centralized education is such garbage right they they force students to go into a classroom and only talk about history only talk about mathematics only talk about art only talk about cooking only talk about whatever it is right 
Well, that's not the way the human mind works. We are we we are designed to link, right? To find patterns, right? So, for me, if a student of mine wants to discuss whatever it is they want to discuss within reason, of course, right? I always, my door is always open. They they can always engage me at any level they want, and I try to, you know, put in a little bit of mathematics and physics and economics or whatever I can in that discussion, right? And that's the way I've treated my engagement online okay so that's that would be my advice that's the way i do things and by the way I, i'm not saying this is the best way to do it i've had a lot of people comment on my video saying i can't believe how few subscribers you have and i agree with them i can't believe it either but that's a lot to do with the algorithm censorship black now uh, what do you call it um blacklisting or whatever it is right but to me that's beyond my control. The only thing that's in my control is to do what I'm doing and to create content that I'm proud of, right? So maybe if I was, you know, had dancing girls behind me and I was selling Coca-Cola, uh, YouTube would promote me higher and I would have, you know, 500,000 followers or a million followers instead of, you know, whatever it is, 33,000 followers, right? But the compliment that comes in is a lot of love, man. I, I can't ask for more than that right and be happy right 